excited for this week. You know, this is the time of year you've got to play your best, survive in advance. Um, been here several years, and you know, outside of last year, you got to go down and win two games in Nashville, and you got to play your best basketball. And I think the best team, whoever can defend and rebound, take care of the basketball, uh, is going to come out of there victorious. And I think there's several teams, you know, four or five teams that could that possibly win this thing. So. Uh, I think our guys will be in the right frame of mind. Uh, we need to get a good practice in today, and then uh, we'll go Tuesday, Wednesday, and we'll go light on Thursday morning, and then we'll head down to watch the East Kentucky uh, SEMO Eastern Illinois winner and be ready on Friday. Let's talk about, uh, I guess, the last six games we lost for the last six, as you know. Is there anything that you change or tweak? I know believe in a system and things like that. Is there anything that you do different Friday that you haven't done in the last six games? Um, a little bit. There'll be a little bit that we'll do in practice this week. Um, you know, uh, just to, you know, if we need to make a couple changes uh, to have things to have things ready. Um, but we have to get back to defending on the perimeter. You know, to where we're. Being able to pressure the ball, um, deny passing lanes, and, and push people further out. Uh, we're having a tough time guarding the basketball off the dribble right now. Um, and I think that's been our biggest weakness. Uh, and then transition defense, you know, it usually is good for the most part. It wasn't great Saturday night. Uh, too many people watching and not, not people getting back. But, um, you know, offensively, there's some things that we're going to have to do for each Kentucky uh, because of the way they play. And, and we'll do that this week. Uh, in preparations if we play them. and But it could easily be SEMO, it could be Eastern Illinois. Uh, so you have to do a little bit of, you know, you don't want to get caught up doing too much for all three of those teams when we know where our deficiencies are right now. And um, I think the guys are coming with a great, great mindset. I, I really do. Um, but you win at a high level by defending, and, and we're not doing that right now. You mentioned that you struggled defending on the perimeter. Is that because of something other teams have started to do against you? Or what do you think the reason for it is? I don't think it's anything anybody's doing anything special. Um, I mean, you got to get out and pass in lanes and, uh, and deny passing lanes. And you got to be able to guard the ball and keep the ball in front of you and uh, put great pressure on and get some deflections. Um, we've done it. We've done it at times. I mean, if you put on the Belmont game, put on the Evansville game, uh, put on St. Joe, you know, put on there's, you know, five to ten games you can put it on and, and see that team, uh, and that's the team that we need on Friday. How does it change your preparation uh, comparison different than the normal game, not knowing who you're going to play until the day before? Well, it just, you know, you, we're not going to spend hours and hours in practice on other team stuff. I mean, you're going to we'll, we'll do a little bit, but. We've got to get ourselves right in transition defense. We've got to get ourselves right uh, in half-court defense. And we've got to get everybody to sell out on the defensive end. Uh, and then as it gets closer, Wednesday night, somebody's knocked out. And then Thursday, we may do a little bit of both in practice. And then you know, you're basically just walking through them on Friday at shoot-around or doing uh, your, your little our 15, 20-minute segment at shoot-around that we do. But uh, we played these teams. We're familiar with. You know, if it's SEMO, we just played and we know the adjustments that we need to make if we play them. East Kentucky, um, very good team, uh, but we have an idea of what we need to do for them. And then Eastern Illinois, you know, we know what hurt us in that game to where, you know, we can we can go through that, you know, very quickly if needed. What have Isaiah been like since Saturday, kind of preparing for their final things to tell you? Well, I saw him Saturday night after the game, and that's the thing. I said, uh, you know, usually you lose – Four out of six, and players hate the coaches, and the coaches hate the players. And I, I don't find that at all uh, with our group, and that's why I'm really confident going down there. You know, I was with the guys an hour after the game, um, and with their families, and had great conversations with those guys. Uh, to be honest, they almost, did, you know, I feel like I'm letting them down. They may feel like they're letting me down a little bit. I, I think there's, you know, I think we both generally care for one another, and and. Everything in my talks with them were very positive. You have five seniors generally that play. I know you have six, but five that play. That usually you get seniors that will kind of rise to the occasion when you get into a tournament situation. Do you feel that's kind of an ace and all you have too? 
Well, we got two really good ones. Um, you know, Isaiah on the perimeter, Ed inside, and then, you know, uh, Latrez, Stacy, and Brandon, you know, have been, you know, productive for us as well at certain times this year. Our biggest issue is when Isaiah and Ed's been great, the other guys have been okay. When they've been, the other guys have been great, Isaiah and Ed have been okay. And um, we need to put it all in a collective, collectively, we need to do it together. And, you know, I still, I still feel really good about our chances come Friday. When you talk to the guys, they put so much emphasis on the NCAA tournament this year. Maybe they talk about that more than an OVC. Do you feel like this is the right rabbit or the right carrot for them to chase this week? I mean, do you have any thought of them not coming out? Oh, not coming out ready? I'll be, uh, I would be floored. I mean, I would be shocked. Uh, this will be our best preparation week of the year. Um, you got to look at it in terms of the over, you know, uh, you know, last year put us in a position where we were going to get in that large bid, but two years prior we were 28 and four, and we had to go beat Eastern Illinois and Moorhead down there in Nashville. We we're probably going to be in the NIT. Now, if that was that same team this year, probably not. They probably would be going to get in that large bid. But the, over the last couple years, things have changed because of the success we've had in our league, and it's brought more attention to our league. Uh, that if you have that record, you're going to get in. But uh, we won the league two years ago. We got upset by Tennessee Tech. Uh, we've got to go down there. Uh, they know that, and win two games to get in the NCAA tournament. And, and nothing's changed. And that, that's how it is. And this is a, a so-called pressure week for players, coaches, uh, trying to, to take the next step. And, uh, you know, we're very, very capable of winning two games, you know, without a doubt. Do you think maybe not having that – that OVC regular championship and that at-large bid is that thing to work for. Maybe it's hurt you guys the last six games. Maybe just knowing that this is the only chance they have. You know, I, you could put that in. I, you could see that. You could make that argument for it. Now, is that the case? I don't know. I can't answer that. Uh, I was, you know, from, <laughs> from a coach, you're trying to win as many games as you possibly can. Uh, but when you are, when you, when you can't, excuse me, when you can't win the overall league title and you've clinched the Western Division. There is some, well, <coughs> excuse me. There is some. Let's just wait for, let's just wait for wait for Nashville, which may be part of it. I don't know. I don't. I didn't think so. You know, because they were sick. You know, there's a lot of tears Saturday after they lost. So, I don't think that's the case. But I could I could see both sides. Do you think there was more pressure last year or this year? <laughs> uh. For, for me, probably this year. <laughs> uh, for me, this year. Uh, but I don't want those guys playing with any pressure. They just need to go play and have fun. And uh, Because when they're at their best, when they're right, if you polled everybody, we're a team that people would pick. You said a couple of weeks ago, Coach, that uh, Cannon still had a lot of gas left in him, that you were still looking for big things out of him. Expecting that this week. Oh, I'm expecting him to be at his best. This is what he lives for. He'll be ready. You mentioned all the love and the respect, and you've talked about just being even keel all season. Do you look back and think that you've been too nice on your players? Um, you know, if you're not 31 and two, I guess you're always going to say, you know, there's some things. And I look back, I think every, you know, there's a lot of things that. You know, since we're 20 and nine instead of 28 and one, that yeah, of course, there's things that I would have done differently. Um, but you can't go back. You know, only thing we can do now is is prepare for Friday. And you know, I can't change my personality though. I can't be who I'm not. You know, um, you, you know that it, it, it's a successful, you know, it's a successful formula if you can get everybody on the same page and locked in to do that. And, you know, talking to those guys over the weekend, I, I think they're they're I think they'll be ready. But you have to go perform and you got to uh, you got to defend. And that's that's where our you know offense, I mean we scored seventy points Saturday night, sixty eight. We missed forty one shots. We shot sixty percent from the free throw line. Uh, we gave up eighty four. You can't give eighty four points up and expect to win. I know Billy always used to say that if man-to-man -man defense wasn't working, we weren't doing it right. Is that kind of what you're seeing right now is just need to execute that defense? To yeah, 
Yeah, we're not. I mean, if you watch the game and I watch the tape, I mean, Simo just threw the ball around the perimeter all night. Guard to wing. I mean, that's that's an unwritten rule in our philosophy. You deny that pass. Wing to guard. First pass, you know, we'll be in the gap and let you have that pass. Guard to guard, that's denied. You know, but they just went all around the perimeter all night. All around the perimeter all night. That's not how we play. And if you watched our game here last year against SEMO and they, they scored, they played really well, that's how we were that night. We went up there to their place the following last uh, week of the season or last two weeks of the season and defended really well. Um, you know, um, I mean, if we can hold Belmont to – to uh, 50 points and in, in, in with five minutes to go in the game, you you know what you're doing right. You just have to execute it and, and do it with the same level of intensity. Do you think some teams in the OVC look at Murray State as a vulnerable team right now? Uh, not vulnerable, but we, we get everybody's best best shot. I mean, everybody is totally locked in and prepared for us, and that's what, you know, our guys, I, th I, th I think they understand that, but sometimes I, they may not understand how focused that other team is going to be. I mean, we've gotten everybody's best shot, everybody's best game um, because of the tradition, because of last season, because we are uh, the measuring stick, um, you know, in mid-major basketball and, and in this league. So, you know, we just, um, you know, we just need to, you know, I, I forgot at the beginning of your question. I was going somewhere. What you? Yeah, I, you know, vulnerable. You know, yeah, people probably think they can beat us, but I think, I think these guys are our best. You know, when they're a little angry, and they should be angry because I'm a little angry. You know, so, um, you know, everybody's vulnerable down there, though. You know, we've been down there. We've, we've made big plays down there. We've won down there, you know. Um, so we'll, we'll be ready. I'm looking forward to it. Do you like Nashville City? Is the OG you like that as an OBC Uh I do. I, th I, I think it'd be, you know, um, I'm a big proponent of home sites. Uh, I think the atmosphere is, uh, is tremendous at home sites. Um, but... You know, I know they've gone away from it, but I think Nashville's a great city, um, and I know we get great support down there, and it, it's perfect timing, Friday night, 8 o'clock, so there's really no work. You can go, you can work your whole day and get down there still, so, you know, I'm anticipating, you know, basically, we got to win two home games. 